you know, the Internet of Things uh, it really starts with the cell phone in most consumers' minds, but it's spread quickly to the, um, to the car, uh, and, and a lot of people already have connected vehicles. 50% uh, of today's vehicles are connected. But what I was here to talk about really is the future of the uh, IoT and automotive and how that's really going to change the industry drastically. There's just so many opportunities, but the big thing is that cars cause a lot of problems in today's society, whether it be congestion on the freeways, uh, accidents and deaths related to accidents, um, and then obviously pollution, uh, global warming, those things. And a connected inter or an internet of things can connect the cars, make them more manageable, really mitigate a lot of these issues. And as we build up to an autonomous future where cars are driving themselves, you really are going to have to lean heavily on IoT and related technology. In terms of timing, it couldn't come at a better time. And if you look at the automotive industry, uh, it is becoming a tech industry. And so we really um, are able to leverage both our own expertise in automotive and other parts of uh, Informa, including you know, particularly Ovum right now, uh, and their expertise in the technologies that are coming into the industry, and also help explain our industry and our vertical uh, to, to Ovum's audience and, and others in the tech community. So, you know, there's no real consensus on this. A lot of people um, are very excited about it right now. The public, it's captured the public imagination, the media imagination. My initial take was it was going to take quite a long time. I still think that, you know, each of us having our own autonomous vehicles or getting in them is decades away, but fewer decades than when I started. And I think one of the things that's happened is that media and, and public perception and excitement is actually driving the pace of change faster than it would have happened normally. So I, I think they're, they're, it's in our lifetime for sure. The, the biggest thing, um, well there's cybersecurity, and I'll just put that aside because it, we can have conferences on cybersecurity, but I think particularly the automotive industry, we really need intergovernmental uh, standards and regulations set for the automotive industry. Um, in the states, you have different laws and standards even with from state to state. Um, we need to have that, you know, that addressed by federal governments and then we have to have, because the auto industry is global and building vehicles globally, we really need international cooperation and standards. So I think that's the biggest challenge for the industry.